Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page seven. So I'm going to use these two patterns. This is going to pull back in page six, and then I'm adding this pattern. This is from the 12 by 12, and this is also from the 12 by 12. So this is three inches across. And that was kind of arbitrary. That just happened to be a scrap that I had. So it's three inches, and then I'm going to cut to fit the other piece which I think is oversized at the moment. And we'll have a slight color block between the two. Let me make sure I know which side is right side up. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's trim this down. Okay, that should do it. Let's see how I did. Hmm, little, I trimmed a little too much. That's all right, I'm gonna make it work. I guess I only had to ink the side I trimmed. Is a little bit wider over here than I normally would like but I think it's okay so that is the base and then I've got these three three by four and a half inch cards three by four and a half Oop. and they are gonna go side by side like so and then uh, we're gonna pull in the balloon theme again as uh, we had on the other page um, I think I'll do this, put this one up high, this one a little bit lower, and I want there to be a gap between um, the two cards. So this may not work. It doesn't look like it will. So the other thing is I could put a balloon between them. Like so. <laughs> There's a magnet underneath it and it's yanking this down. Oh, so these cards, by the way, I said that I gave you the, the top measurement. They should be six and a quarter by four and five eighths. Six and a quarter across by four and five eighths, and you're going to score it in half. So three and one eighth is what you're going to score it at. So let's see, what do I think? And then these two are gonna open out. So I kind of like this, and if I do this, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be on the inside of the card. This one I can't because it, it's cut, it's got a, a hard edge, and that's the way it came out of the, uh, off the page. It had a hard edge. But I do like, to have the balloon a little bit on the inside. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so each one of these uh, is gonna be closed with a magnet. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and line the inside of these. By the way, this is 12 by 12, 12 by 12, 12 by 12. This is actually from the 12 by 12 as well. And I think I cut a couple of pieces to size already. Yes, I do, I have these. And do I have anything else? I'm going to go ahead and use 
the rest of this eight by eight to cut these, two more of these, four and a half. Oops. Oh, that's right, four and a half by Okay. All right, here we go. Let's make sure they're all ink. These two are, and I'm going to put them together so they complete a picture. one That's two. So again, they're going to open away from each other, like so. They're going to go in here. All right. So we can go ahead and place these and then come back and add our balloon. And I'm just, I'm not measuring, I'm just doing what looks visually pleasing to me. I am looking for a consistent border on the bottom. It's not necessary. It's just, that's sort of my de design aesthetic. So it looks like two and a half and about two and, two and a half. A little bit up and a little bit over. Okay, there we go. That's in.
This one I have to hold steady uh, because there's a magnet on the other side that's trying to move this. So I'm just gonna hold that steady for a second. Make sure it's got a good grab. And then we have the option to do the little one with an overlap. I don't like that. And I actually should have moved these further apart to, to leverage this. I don't care for it. Even that way, I don't care for it. Hmm. I don't care for that either. So I think I want another cut apart. So let's see, I've got plenty of these. So I'm gonna take a look at these and see if there's something that I can work with that might be a little smaller. that I like better. <laughs> um, I want that balloon over here. I want that mirror image. I think I've got another piece that's a little bit more cut apart. The other thing is we still have all these goodies. small balloon. The blue's kind of interesting, but can't put it on that corner because it has to open. Don't care for it. Maybe. Could be. These are stickers that I've put cardstock on the back of. Not doing it for me, guys. Oh, I like that better. Definitely better. And I think I only have two of those, so that's what we're going to go with. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. Oh no, this is an ephemera card.
No, I don't care for that either. Guys, I'm back in a thousand. I'm gonna probably skip through a whole bunch of this because it's frustrating. Just know that we need something else. Right? Nala came to see me. can't seem to make this work. I really wanted to put some balloons over here. That just looks too planned. <laughs> I think my problem is this should have been further over and I might have had a few different options. Certainly an option to put a large balloon in the center which you can't do with them this close together. It just doesn't, doesn't work well. The other thing is to just glue it on like it is and just know that the second half of the balloon's not there. And that kind of masks it, but I'm not crazy about that. I think I'd rather just cut out a whole nother balloon. All right, I need a minute to think. Okay, I figured out what I wanna do. So I can't remember if I, I think I did these when the camera was rolling. I fussy cut three of these balloons and I'm gonna nest them slightly behind the cards. I just had them there for placement. I just used my spatula to lift the corners so that I could glue these down. And I cardstock backed all of them. Okay, there's one. And then here's my last one. And then I fussy cut this. It was off one of the small ephemera cards uh, that I had cut apart for something else. And it helps offset this ivory up here. I think it looks lovely. There we go. So that is page seven. Thanks, everybody. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon with uh, the rest of the album. Uh, we're almost to the end. Okay, be back soon.